safely protect our face against strikes, where we're closing the distance and attaching ourselves to the person in the clinch. We have Andrea here. She's significantly smaller than me, probably 75, 80 pounds heavier than she is. She can protect her face with this structure. So what she's going to do is take a stance with one foot forward, one foot back. Her head is leaning slightly forward so that her weight is over her front leg. She's going to use her arms to form a shield to protect herself behind. So let's take a turn this way. So her lead arm will be level with her ear line, full arm coming down underneath the armpit of the rear arm. The rear arm glues to the forehead and forms a trap over the top of the tricep. From here, she's able to see me through one eye. So go ahead. So this eye right here, she can see through that hole, but it's very hard for anything to get through that in terms of a fist. Okay. So what this allows her to do is to charge forward and crash forward through the striking range and establish a clinch, which is hard for me to hit her from. Okay. So kind of in a slow drill, as I strike, she forms the shield and crashes through until she touches my chest and attaches herself to this. Here we go. Once again, when I'm doing this, I have my palms open, not for her protection, but for my protection. Because as she makes this structure, these bony protrusions of her elbows, very, very painful for my hands, potentially breaking my hands as they make impact. So for my safety, I'm keeping my palms open. Notice, this covers a wide variety of strikes from different angles. It covers, don't block, straight attacks, hooking attacks, overhands. The body shot is undefended, that is true, but most altercations are going to begin with attacks to your head. So if you can mitigate that danger for a fraction of a second and close the space, the odds are going to be in your favor. Alright?